One of the key aspects of knowing that you are a biotech professional is also knowing that you don't have to necessarily go into the R&D side of biotech, but you can get into multiple other avenues. Now, one such avenue is bioinformatics software engineer. So today, this is the probably the video number two for this series. And I'm going to talk about bioinformatics software engineer, genomic scientist. Now, to start with, we all have been exposed too much about the wet lab side of the biotech in all our curriculum. So we all think that, okay, the kind of jobs I can get is going into a lab and standing in front of a, a lab bench and working for hours together, right? But that's one side of the job, but probably it may not be that rewarding. And also a lot of people have already gone in there. So the competition is high, no new companies are coming up. So maybe you it'll take some time, some challenge, right? take some time to get that job. But if in case you are interested in earning just like how the software engineers do, but you don't want to do, uh, you don't want to change your field from biotech to software engineering, then this video is going to be a game changer. Okay. Now to start with, we all know that genomic sequencing tools are there, right? So these are softwares which is used to analyze, interpret DNA sequences, experimental data, identify the genetic variants and assemble the genomes. Now, this is one side of the uh, tool. The next thing, what we have, we do the gene expression analysis, right? Under that, we will have tools which will help us analyze the gene expression data, microarrays or RNA sequencing experiments. So, the, uh, under this, we can do the gene expression analysis. Now, another type of uh, work which we can do as a genomic scientist is protein structure prediction where we can uh, use the applications to predict like pymol to predict the protein structure and functions based on amino acid sequence so this is another aspect we can do the fourth application will be pathway analysis so we can develop softwares which will help us identify uh, and visualize biochemical pathways from genomic and proteomic data so these are pretty much the usages of the uh, softwares but have you ever thought who makes these softwares? I'll tell you a story. So three months ago, a software engineer came to me from Accenture and he says, Sir, I want to learn biotech. I was like, you're a software engineer. Why do you want to learn biotech? He said that we are developing a biotech software. So I need to know the basics of how the proteins folding happens, how the molecular docking happens. And then only I can design, right? It got me thinking that he's right. Uh, but actually, for a software engineer to learn biotech, it's like near to impossible. We had tough time training him on that. Of course, we did. But that's where this thing came up. And I reached out to the manager of um, that project. And I said that, see, why don't you hire biotech people who have training in software? He was like, that will be a win-win situation. Why not? So that is why I'm making this video. So now tell you, how, what are the steps to become a bioinformatics software developer, software engineer. Now, the moment I say software, the first thing which will come in your mind is what? Languages, right? Yes, you heard me right. The first step will be knowing the languages. Now, what are those languages? Let me know in the comment section, apart from Python and R. So I'm just mentioning you two of them. Let me know in the comment section, which other languages you'll need to develop these softwares, right? Of course, Python and R is required. Now, be, even before you start learn, going into the Python and R, you have to remember that your strongest thing is your concepts, right? Biotechnology concepts, yes. Now, these concepts only will help you. Even though you don't know R or Python doesn't matter, but these concepts, so whatever you're studying in your bachelor's and master's, it's a must, you should know that. Now, after that, you should develop the programming skills. So, step number one is developing your core skills, which is biotech knowledge, okay? Next will be developing the programming skills. Now, under that, you will be learning essential programming languages um, such as uh, Python, R, Perl, Java, C++, and various other bioinformatics-related softwares. And then the second step under this will be understanding the data structure and algorithm. And of course, uh, to learn all of that, of course, you need some kind of professional help. And that is where Biotechnica comes into picture. We have excellent bioinformatics, a wide range of scientists working on different types of softwares. So they will train you on Python, R, Java, Perl. They will also train you on understanding the data structure 
they'll help you develop algorithms understand algorithms and tweak algorithms so you will get a good grasp of the data structure okay then now these arrays and these link list and the trees which you will develop or you will understand uh, you will the algorithms which you will develop like sorting searching dynamic uh, programming it is very crucial for writing efficient code and remember coding is what software right so of course if you want to become a software engineer first you have to become a bio coder so first okay you have the concepts of biotech next learn bioinformatics and the third will be learning coding for biologist yes you heard me right and then you have to gain the experience and knowledge in genomics and bioinformatics so how do you do that you will have to do some research yeah. projects with biotechnica we have various uh, research projects running the list is given in the description you have to do that once you have done that and you start uh, understanding the other side of uh, code which is of course using the the software then only you can write a better code okay now many people will argue that hey if in the future chat, chat gpt or ai is going to write the um, code for us so why should we bother the truth is for the software it tools maybe yes but for the bt tools you need a good understanding of biotech and it right and then understanding if things are matching or not if things what we want is happening or not that is where a human brain is required ai will take a lot of time probably another 30 years we still have okay so you have to gain the experience in genomic softwares and tools which you can do at biotechnica followed by that do a project with us build your portfolio publish papers pursue the internship which biotechnica has and then go for some research opportunities in companies like scrodinger so they keep posting a lot of internship in india as well as abroad so imagine you get a internship opportunity there and then finally you get a job there i think that's where the dream job can be so now coming to the last part do not forget that you have to keep your eyes open you have to keep looking for such jobs and it always comes on biotechnica and linkedin both so you have to apply before someone else does get shortlisted faster that's the secret of getting the job right of course you should have a very good communication skill you should have good publications you should have uh, good networking and you have to have a lot of good things in sequence to achieve success right so that's about the genomics and bioinformatics software uh, developers uh, how to become one and i'm sure you will still have some questions feel free to put them down in the comment section and i'll be sure either to make a video on your comment or reply to you directly so thank you so much see you soon in the next one till then keep shining keep subscribing to biotechnica keep watching our videos because that's where all things bioinformatics happens all the best